Hello everyone, welcome to the death and respawn video. And in this video, we're just going to kind of go over some, one of the fundamental pieces about platforming games. What happens when you fall? Normally you would end up dying or losing a life or uh, health or something. And we need to respawn in a specific area. So what we're going to do is uh, I took a brand new blank canvas and we're going to make our character. So I'm just going to do this pretty quickly. Hopefully you have watched other videos and uh, know how to make some of these real quick. This time our character will be red. Well, actually, no, I'm going to double click. Let's change the color. There we go. And uh, that's the character. So now we're going to do add, uh, add a behavior and we're going to add platform and then we're going to add scroll to there you are. All right. And now we're gonna double click and I'm just gonna add one platform for now. Platform, and this is a very basic platform. So we're just gonna give it a blue color for now. And what we're gonna do is squash that up a bit. Edit behavior, and we're gonna add the solid behavior. Now we should test to make sure everything works. Cool, I fell on it, life is good. So now we can continue. So I'm gonna just make a few more of these uh, over here and whatnot, and then let's do this. All right, so the goal is if I fall, I'm gonna die, okay? Right now, if I hit play, what happens if I fall down? It'll follow me until we reach the edge of the world, and then uh, technically I'm still moving. So if I actually did this in debug layout, you're gonna kind of see that when I'm falling, if I look at my character, my Y is actually still going. So I still exist, it's just not within the realms of the canvas area, so it's still going. And it'll go forever until you do something. So that's why we need to, you know, cut that off and redo the respawn piece and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on exit here and Let's go ahead and work on that. So I'm going to zoom out a bit. So this is how I normally start this off. I'll double click. We're going to add a sprite. This sprite is called death. We want to remember what it's called. So I'm going to make it red. And so what I like to do is give myself a visual area of where death may occur. There you go. Okay. So now I will fall through this and I will interact with death, theoretically, when I pass the screen. So now what we're gonna do is create a spawn point because we really need to make sure when we fall and die or lose a life or whatever you want to have, if I do get to continue, I need to respawn somewhere. So what I'm gonna do is double click and create another sprite called respawn point and I'm going to set it I'll set it a little bit higher so I could see it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in a bit and then kind of move this around Let's see and I use the same color too that's probably a bad idea but it's okay so I'm gonna do this and then I am going to make the properties not visible all right so that's a respawn. Let me change the color, it's too close. There we go, perfect. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, via our code, when we fall, interact with this, I wanna get respawned up here. All right, so if I hit play right now, oh, did I uncheck the visibility? Let me double check that. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, so now in our event sheet, we're gonna add an event and what we're just gonna say is if my character is going to collide with another object. So the nice thing is this little arrow that you're gonna start seeing in Construct is some of the things that you commonly put together and so forth. So sometimes it's right, sometimes it's not. Usually for some of the beginning things, it will kind of highlight one that you've used more often and so forth. So hopefully, you know, you'll notice that as you go through. So we want to collide with another. Well, we're gonna check to see 
you could always see if it's overlapping and so forth but we're just if you touch it we know we want this to trigger all right so we click on what object in this case we want to check to see if we collided with death right so now this sentence seems a little bit better right where you're like on collision with death i'm going to do something so in this case we're going to add an action and i'm going to click on my character and then i'm going to scroll down and you're going to see where you get to do the size and position so now you could set position to another object you could do the X and Y if you want to just know exactly where you want to place it. But I always like to add an object so it's very just right there. No, no questions in regards to that. So we hit next and we just say, okay, well, where do you want it to be? This is where you say respawn point and you hit okay. And then once you hit done, you now have this sentence where it says character on collision with death, character set position to respawn point. All right. Now I'll go back to layout. Let's hit play and take a look at what's going on here. So now, hey, I fell to the bottom and I showed right back up. So now this gets the basic part of death and respawn going, okay? Uh, what we need to do now is kind of talk about, well, what if I did this? What if I jumped over here? Notice how I didn't trigger it. And that's because this, I technically had my character pass this and it fell down this way, okay? Now, ideally, that's not a good way to kind of go about this. So what I always like to do is I'm gonna double click and what we're gonna do is add a sprite and just call this invisible solid, okay? And the reason why I do this is it's not gonna be, uh, what color should we do? Oh, purple, purple looks good. It's, it's in the game, it will be invisible, but in our way of looking at this, it's gonna be visual. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be very uh, realistic about this. You do not need to do it this way. Uh, there's a, a couple other ways you can handle this but I always like to show the visual aspect of this, okay? So then I just copy paste it, I'm gonna put it on this side here, and then let's say you were going up, I would put one across as well. So I could do this, paste it here, and then let's get to the edge and rotate that, hold the shift, so then it's a straight line, and then boom, and now you could kind of have it like this, okay? Oops, let's get a little closer. There you go, all right? Now when you click on this, you just gotta make sure that they're not visible. And there you go, voila. You got this set up. Uh, we just need to add the behavior solid. Now we have a solid that is invisible. Cause they're a clone, once you add it to one, they all have solids. So now if I do this, like notice how like it won't even let me, uh, go past it, right? So that's what games, for the most part, you run into these w invisible walls or sections that you can't go past and whatnot. That's kind of how you pull those things off. You could bind things to the layout itself. And while that's a good way of doing it, sometimes your mechanic is something slightly different or whatnot, like um, you may want it to actually touch the bottom bottom but let's say you had a bed of spikes or something like that, then you just apply the same concept to every item that it touches that could be considered death. So that's kind of how you get all these things going. So for example, if I click this and put that right there, I'm gonna hit play. You're not gonna see it. However, if I jump, hey, it's a solid, right? So. You could create little tricks and so forth in your platform. However, what if I did it to this and put it right here and I wanted to make it where this whole side is like, you just die for some reason. Not sure why, but like that, right? So you click on this, boom, hey, you already reset, right? And then you can make it not visible. So now you have 
you're like, boy, why can't I go that way, right? And so forth. So there's lots of cool ways to play around with how you do death and respawn. And this is just one of the ways that you can interact with that. And so, you know, in a review of what we did, we just added uh, a character, some platforms. It's important that you add this respawn point and your death. And then I made the invisible solid just as an extra, all right? And then in your event sheet, you just want to say character on collision with death, character set position to respawn point, and now you have a very simple death and respawn. And if you check out my other videos, you'll see how we're gonna take that and create a HUD, which keeps track of lives and all that fun stuff.